Hey everyone, this is Troy at Chicka Wolf Ranch, and today we're talking livestock guardian dogs. So today I wanted to talk to you about livestock guardian dogs, and in particular we wanted to talk to you about fencing. Um, now I think on an earlier video we showed, or kind of we've kind of shared what kind of fencing situation we have here um, but uh, it's changed recently and it was because of uh, our puppies our dogs our big puppies were getting out so uh, I wanted to show you um, what we've done to improve our fence system so they don't get out so let's take a walk down the driveway and we'll uh, show you what we have all right, so as I walk down the driveway to show you uh, what we've done with our fencing, I wanted to share with you a new channel. Well, she's not too new. Uh, it's Chelsea over at Little Mountain Ranch. Um, I asked her, I found her video, her channel, uh, maybe four or five months ago. And right after I found their channel, they um, had a bunch of problems with wildfires uh, on their property and pretty much had, I think they had to, they did evacuate. And so they weren't able to load videos for a while. But uh, when they started loading videos again, um, I got in, in touch with her because they have a livestock guardian dog. And, um, so I asked them to be a part of the collaboration that we did five, six months ago. And she so graciously made a great video. And um, so I added it to our playlist. So um, if you would do me a huge YouTube friend favor and go check out her channel, subscribe. Uh, and I'll put the, her video right up here. And I'll put the playlist to the livestock collaboration videos uh, at the end of this video. Okay, so fencing. Livestock guardian dogs and fencing. It is a huge topic and there's no way I could cover everything that I need to cover because we have learned so much about the breed and what you should and shouldn't do with fencing and our particular setup and it's uh it's just it's too much to cover on one video so what i'm going to do is show you what we basically have and what happened over the last year and then we'll uh um yeah let's just go from there okay so this last year we finished off fencing our property with field fencing and um, if you're not familiar with field fencing it's four foot high and um, it took it took seven years to get essentially about a mile's worth of field fencing on our property and uh, it was actually I kind of enjoyed it I liked it so well it wasn't too bad however uh, after we got the field fencing up our dogs were still getting out and Cherokee was the main culprit he was climbing the field fencing he was just climbing over it like a ladder and um, we couldn't have that so uh, kind of in the middle of doing the field fencing, we got um, an invisible fence and put that on, oh, it was about three foot up on the field fence. And that seemed to stop the dogs about 90% of the time from getting out, but they were still getting out occasionally. Well, about three weeks ago, something happened, we think, I'm not sure what happened, but the dogs, all three of our livestock guardian dogs, started getting out every, almost every day. 
Uh, Wendy was busy and she was busy off of the homestead and um, every time she left she would get a call about an hour later saying that the, our dogs were out. Our neighbors would call us and then the hunt began for them. So uh, because of all that I uh, bought hot fencing. So um, I put hot fence on top of, I'll show you here real quick. We put the hot fence over the top of the field fencing around the whole 10 acres. Now up here at the gate, um, it seems as though they may have been getting out here at the gate because what I had to do was add this wire, this uh, field fencing. I cut some field fencing down and put it in this gap here because I think they were flipping, they were kind of flipping through there or they were going over the top, I'm not sure. So then I had to add the hot fence up on top. It's been about two weeks and they have not gotten out yet. So we're very thankful that they're not getting out. However, we now have hot fence all around the property and that's kind of, we didn't, we didn't really want that because we have little kids and, and uh, I just don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like getting shocked and I'm sure little kids don't even understand it and it's terrible. So luckily no one's been shocked yet. I'm sure it'll happen. Um, I've made it as safe as I can and uh, we'll just go from there. Um, as you can see, I put it down low as well up here at the entrance of the property because they dug a giant, a giant hole right there. And that's how they were getting out. Two of them were getting out over there and Cherokee was going over the top. So, dropped a few hundred dollars on all that stuff and uh but it seems to be working uh it's just one of those things that uh you have to do as a homesteader and uh here comes a neighbor it's just one of those things that we had to take care of i had to take a couple days off of uh work to get it done but it only took a few days and um, it turned out pretty good so yeah all right well that's all for chicka wolf ranch and uh, if you have any questions about livestock guardian dogs or fencing or whatever you have please be sure to ask in the comments below um, we enjoy answering questions we will answer to the best of our ability of course, we don't know everything. We've only had livestock guardian dogs for about five years now, five or six years. So, um, but we think we do have a pretty good, a pretty good understanding of them. And um, we just love to share what, what we know about them. They're just such unique animals and they work so hard on the farm most of the time. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out Chelsea over at Little Mountain Ranch and subscribe to her channel, and tell her Troy and Wendy sent you from Chicka Wolf Ranch. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.